I'm here with James Timpson, fund manager of the multi-asset funds at Courtiers, to find out what's been going on in the markets throughout October. James, hi. Hi, Leo. Yes, so October was one of those months. It was difficult for investors. So we saw um, markets more or less down across the board as investors struggle to deal with um, how long these interest rates may remain at elevated levels. So indices like the FTSE 100, for instance, which tracks the biggest companies in the UK, that was down around 3.5% during the month. And the S&P 500 in the US, that was down over 2% as well. Also last month, we had the uncertainty surrounding all the conflict in the Middle East. And of course, one thing we know markets don't like very much is uncertainty. Um, not just equity markets that were down, of course, bond markets were down as well. So the US 10-year Treasury yield, that actually went above 5% for the first time since 2007. So both equity investors and bond investors did have a rather volatile month last month. So we know it's all fast moving and we've got all these situations around the world affecting the markets. We've got doom on one foot, we've got gloom on the other. What's the last week or so been like? Well, the good news is that um, markets have actually rallied this week due to um, comments made by the chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell. So on Wednesday this week, um, he gave a fairly strong indication that the Federal Reserve may have no more uh, interest rate hikes to go. Uh, and this was met very positively by markets. Um, so just yesterday alone, for instance, the FTSE 250 index, which tracks uh, medium-sized companies in the UK, that was up 3.5% in one day. And so far this week, it's up 6%. So investors are uh, extremely positive when it comes to the thought of no more rate hikes. Um, and that, that applies to both um, equity investors and bond investors. Mm, mm. Um, Good time coming. <laughs> James, um, you've mentioned a couple of stocks over the last few months that Courtiers has been investing in. Now, I'm interested to see over time how these stocks have been performing. I wouldn't expect on the spot to ask you, James. I'd rather speak to one of the analysts. Um, but uh, keeping on the theme, are there any new stocks that you've invested in since the last market update? Yeah, so on top of the um, UK home builders, which I mentioned in the last video, we have added... Um, not too dissimilarly, uh, a European REIT, that's a real estate investment trust called URW. It's listed in France, but it has um, properties based around Europe. Um, so we invested that in the multi-asset funds uh, last month. And so far, uh, particularly given the recent news about um, hopefully a, an end to rate hikes, it's actually done really well. Um, so a lot of these companies that we have been buying in the last couple of months, we've been buying them because they're so cheap. So all it takes is um, a little prod, a bit of good news, some good economic data, and these stocks tend to recover um, quite uh, efficiently. Thanks, James. So, inevitable question. Last update of the year, because December is always very busy for us. The run-up to the client seminars. Yes. What's it look like? <laughs> um, well, I'm hoping that the start we've seen to this month continues for the rest of the month, because it would be nice to present some um, reasonable um, returns to investors in December. As I say, it has been a really difficult year so far due to all of the um, uncertainty surrounding interest rates and inflation. But fingers crossed, come December, um, markets will be looking a lot more positive, returns will be looking more positive, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's always nice to meet um, the uh, investors that we're uh, working for. Absolutely, and there's always exciting stories to tell and exciting conversations to be had. Absolutely. James, thank you very much. I shall look forward to our next update in 2024. Uh, before then, of course, being with you at the client seminars. Thank you. To our viewers, if you have any questions, please let us know or speak to your advisor and we'll make sure we get the answers to you. Thank you.